Hello everyone, welcome to Mary's Creative Decor. If you're a subscriber, I want to thank you for watching. And if this is your first time stopping by, make sure you become a part of the Creative Decor family. Hit the subscribe button and keep watching. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm ready to do my third tutorial on my Christmas centerpieces. And for today's project, we'll be using um, dollar store items as well as some items I picked up from Amazon. I have these two cylinders, and of course I got these from Dollar Tree. I have two uh, candle holders here, silver and gold ribbon that I got from uh, Dollar Tree. And I have my um, vase fillers here. Now these are water-based fillers and these are from Amazon. And of course I'll leave a link to everything in the description box. And I can't do anything without some water beads. To get started, I wanna take my cylinders, turn them upside down, and I wanna glue my candlesticks to the bottom. I'll be using my E6000 to do this. While that's drying, I'm going to take my water beads with this water, it's about three cups of water, and you're supposed to take about a tablespoon of the beads and add to the water. And I'm just gonna use my hand to do so, and I'm just gonna add them to the water. Now, I'm gonna let this all dr uh, dry overnight, so I'm gonna let these beads sit in the water overnight, and tomorrow morning, we'll be ready to put it all together. I know, I said I'll see you in the morning, but I looked at my cylinders and I wasn't happy with the way they was looking. So I took them apart before they dried, I cleaned them up, and I'm going to re-glue them. Instead of using one candlestick, I'm going to glue two of them together, like so. And then I'll place that on one cylinder and use one candlestick on the bottom of the other cylinder. I'll place this little book on top uh, until it sets up and then I'll turn around and add my E6000 to the bottom and glue it on the bottom of the other cylinder. But in the interim, it's been about 15-20 minutes and I just want to show you what the water beads are looking like. So you know what they look like when I put them in and in 20 minutes they are already this big. So once again, we're going to come back in the morning and finish up the project. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. I hope you all had a wonderful night. But my uh, cylinders are dry. The glue is dry. And now we want to begin to embellish them a little bit. I want to make sure that they're clean and I've already washed them out. It, you could probably see that they're still a little frosty on the inside. But we want to um, decorate the jar just a little bit and I decided not to use the holiday stuff but to use a little bling which will still work for the holidays and you could use it afterwards. To do that I have some rhinestone bling here and of course this is from the Dollar Tree and I also have my floral bling. Now this of course I bought in bulk from Amazon so I want to cut the floral bling into just one row, single row. So I'm going to do that real quick and I'm going to cut the bling wrap in half. I'm going to do that and I'll come right back. Now I just want to take the E6000 glue 
and glue this to the bottom of my cylinder. Now I'm going to take the dollar store bling wrap and glue it around the top of my vases. I also heated up my hot gun to add a little hot glue to speed up the process. So once my vases was dry, I came back and I wasn't quite happy with how they was looking, looking a little plain. So I decided to take my Mod Podge and I'm going to add a little bit in this container here. I'm going to take this confetti that I had in my stash and it's like an iridescent. I'm going to mix about half of that into my Mod Podge along with my um, glitter here. And this is the bigger or heavier glitter. And I'm just going to mix it up. And because it's a little thick, I might, I'm going to add just a few drops of water. And I'm going to add it to the bottom of my vase. I'm going to add this glitter mixture to the bottom of my second cylinder and we'll come back after it dries. I am back. My glue is dry. And now we're going to take a look at my water beads. Now here they are. Remember the size that they were and look at them now. They are plumped and full and ready to go in my vases. So what I'm going to do is uh, pour them inside the vases. going to add a bit more water, add my candy, and I'll come back for you to see them on display. I think they're colorful and absolutely beautiful, but you let me know what do you think. And look at the glitter on the bottom of the candle holders. It is absolutely fabulous. And if you've enjoyed video number three in this series, it's time to subscribe and become part of the Creative Decor family. Now you can see here where the candy and the beads are floating around. Now you can move them around and place them any way you like. Now I will leave a link for the water beads as well as the candy canes or candy in the container. I'll also leave a link to tutorial one and two of this series in the description box below. It's time to say thank you all for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll see you in my next video. Happy holidays.